Yeah. What a beautiful morning. Conditions aren't bad either. I'm gonna be throwing this popper. But what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Bama Saltwater Fishing Channel. If this is your first time tuning into the channel. It'd be a great time to go hit that subscribe button down below this video. And if you already have, I really appreciate you. My main goal this year is to reach 10,000 subscribers. And I know it's doable, I just need y'all's help. And I really appreciate you if you already are. But I brought the Z-Bass and the big Yozuri Mag Popper again. And we're gonna do some topwater popper surf fishing today. A lot of wind. We might get rained on again, like last time, but who cares? We're gonna try to get in some fish. So without further ado, let's get into some fishing. All right, today I am throwing the Yoziri Mag Popper 130F, and everything I use today will be linked down in the description below if you wanna go pick you up one or just see what I'm using. I'm using 60 pound leader, and my main combo is a Z-Bass ZX22, 40 pound spider wire braid and then a custom cousins 907 nine foot heavy action rod i caught that big shark on it last time and we're going to try to try our luck and see what we can get in today any bite will be a good bite on top water so let's chunk it out see what we can get i just like to chunk these as far as i can and i just walk the beach and cover some water that's it and it's really easy to work you just give it a pop every now and then all the way back to you and i like to do it if there's waves out there i like to wait till the wave goes over and then i'll give it a pop in between the grass ain't too bad at all the water clarity is not terrible either it's a good thing fish of the day come on this had a blow up see what you are come on buddy come in be something good i gave it a pause decent sized bluefish Woo. that is a chunky bluefish all right all right he just caught a nice sized bluefish these things have some serious teeth on them so you never want to put your finger near their mouth or in their mouth but uh he's going to go back i don't like to eat them but some people do fun fighting fish so all right cool first fish today there you go bud go back that's cool i just caught that blue fish so i'm going to cast back out i am having to wait out just a little bit because the beach is pretty shallow they're in high tide right now but got a beautiful sunrise man check that out so let's get another cast in that's awesome after you catch a bluefish or something toothy like that you always want to check your leader and make sure there's no phrase in it or abrasion and if there is then you just retie usually when there's one bluefish there's another so what the heck that was piece of seaweed i hope and we got some seagulls you want to look for birds birds will help you tremendously when you're fishing in the gulf practically anywhere da, 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 da. we got to run these birds are working a school of fish over here and i see the fish jumping up way out there though i don't think i'm gonna be able to get out there even with a big spoon but i can try oh yeah bunch of bunch of fish working right here oh i'm already on that didn't take long that, that did take long holy crap what do i got <laughs> that did not take long at all i've got something freaking big on <laughs> yeah yo well check this out what do i got yo that didn't take long at all oh my goodness that's something big on I got my drag tight. That's why it sounds like that. I have to walk down. Walk down the beach. Fight this joker. Come here. Yo, I knew. I knew there was something happening out here. Thank you, seagulls. No, I, I don't know what I had, though. Oh, my goodness. I want to take it easy because I have the whole beach to fight this fish. So, I don't want to just winch it in if it's something that I don't want to lose, you know? 
I don't really know what it is. I didn't even get a chance to work the lure. I immediately cast in and got something. Go this side. Catch up to it. It's just running straight down the beach. Something heavy. Be cool. Make sure I get a good hook set in it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's gonna wear me down though. <laughs> I can already feel it. I hope it's a jack or a red. It's coming in. Uh, not that easy though, but it's coming in. Just take it nice and easy. That's all I want to do. That's the thing about fighting fish on the beach. If you have the entire beach to fight this fish, you don't have to worry about getting hung up in rocks over here, in trees. So go ahead and fight the fish. Let the fish play out. Let the fish take drag wear itself out as long as you have the line capacity you're good all right it's creating a wake right there in the surf it's right here come on could be a small shark it's coming into the beach jack Craval. I don't know. We'll see. I can't see it. The water's a little dirty. Oh, it's a jack. I see the yellow. <laughs> it's a small jack. <laughs> what I would call small jack craval. Come on, get up on the beach. Get up on the beach. This is a fun size right here. I don't want to lose it. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's just using that fork tail. Ah. Come on, Jackie. Get up on the beach. I don't want to lose you. Come on. There it is. Come on. You can do it. Boom. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. On the mag popper. Woo. <laughs> get this lure out of his mouth here all right you big jack go back jack <laughs> that didn't even take long at all let's get him revived all right he wants to go <laughs> boom there he goes see you buddy <laughs> hey big old blue heron fred it's gonna take a lot bigger of you and a lot more of you to finish that fish off so he's gone you can't eat that joker Whew, that was a good fight <laughs> We got old Fred, the great blue heron just hanging around like they always do. But that worked out really great. I was fishing one spot, I saw a bunch of seagulls working the area, and then I saw a bunch of big mullet jumping up. So, and I ran out, and uh, first cast with the Yoziri Mag Popper 130. Like, I didn't even get a chance to, I don't even think, pop it twice, and uh, immediately got hooked up. I didn't quite know what it was, but I had a feeling it was either a big jack or a big redfish. So bluefish, I would have got in a long time ago. But uh, that's what you call a fun size jack. So they do get a lot bigger if you watch my other videos, which you can go look on my channel and see. I've caught some bigger ones. That is fun nevertheless. You want to keep fish out of the water as least as possible if you don't plan on keeping them. So I get a quick CPR. I practice a lot of that. That's catch, photo, release. And uh, it's on its merry way go get bigger but like i said in the beginning of the video i will link this down in the description below this yozuri mag popper is a beast and this one's the 130f in the mag popper and i'm using the bone color because the sun isn't quite out so we have a decent overcast and that bone does really good on hazy days but in reality a topwater popper they're looking at the bottom and the splash anyway so the color's not too big of a deal but i'm going to continue walking down maybe get into something else Check out that big freighter coming in. Still a bunch of bait around, that's good. Good sign. Oh, already. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
get a hook set on it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. This is what I am talking about for some adrenaline freaking action right now on the beach. This is awesome. This is some cool stuff right here. Look, two pops in. Two pops in. Ah. Let's see what you are. Let's bring you in, buddy. Come on in. The land is fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I gotta have this energy, otherwise I'm just gonna sit here and have a hurt back and whatever else. <laughs> uh, come on. Where are you at? Still wants to go. I got the drag really tight. And I got 40 pound braid. So the biggest compromise will be it not being hooked good. And that's just because the way they hit it. I'm not worried about the hooks being straightened, my line break or anything. Just purely how they're hooked. That's why you see me do a kind of obnoxious hook set on them. But it's pretty necessary. <laughs> Alright, I know I'm not talking a lot coming it's coming in yeah that didn't take long at all really just cast just like that all right where are you at i don't even know what it is to be honest but it's coming in let's get it on the beach here it is i, I can't see it because the water's so dirty ah. I'm gonna have to use the waves in my favor. Oh, there it goes that way. Turn its head up on the beach. Come on, I think it's a jack. Whew. That's what it looks like. I can barely see it. Yeah, it's a little jack, Craval. Ah, get up on the beach, you. <laughs> get up on the beach, you. Come on. He's a little fella. Uh, not really that little, but something. Uh, there he is. That's more of the fun size jack. <laughs> All right, he got another jack, Craval. He's not as big this time. These are the manageable size, so. but on that Yaziri mag popper. So I'm going to get him unhooked. Get them back in the water quickly. Helps to have a great set of pliers. I just use some Van Stall pliers, but any good needle nose pliers with the cutters work. Let's get you on your way, buddy. Come on. He's gone. There he goes. <laughs> That's fun. But that was fun. That was my second jack this morning on the Yozuri Mag Popper there. Man, it's putting in some work today. It's fun to throw these lures. All you need is like an eight to nine foot rod. And about a 4,000 to a 6,000 size reel. So, but I, I just have something heavy in case I hook into another big shark like I did. Okay, I am going to switch to a bigger spoon here. This is about a four inch spoon. So I'm going to go tie that on. I'm going to keep the same leader and then I'll put my uh, Yozuri back in. So you're going to cast it out pretty far and then it's going to flutter down. Then you're going to reel it really fast and then let it flutter down again. And you're just going to do that the whole way back. I'm gonna cast that out pretty far here. Let it sink and then just work it back to us. Oh, there we go. What are you? Got something. <laughs> it might be a blue fish or a lady fish. I can't tell. On the spoon though, I just hope it stays hooked. I hate throwing heavy weight for fish like this because the hookup is bad. And then also it's a lot of stress on their lips. And when they shake, a lot of times they'll come off. Get up here. Bluefish, all right. All right. Bluefish here. Gonna toss you back. There you go. Luckily didn't get my leader, so great. That is good. <laughs> it's a fast crab check it out it's a sand crab or a ghost crab don't worry buddy i'm just i'm not going to get you okay i just want to take a picture i'm not going to hurt you i'm just looking at you 
that's what you see all these holes on the beach i'm gonna leave him alone but all these holes on the beach that's what's living in them are those uh sand crabs all right it slowed down a lot so i cannot complain about this morning well you can't really complain about any morning that you can wake up in general and uh, also be able to go fishing so that's pretty awesome beautiful day the wind did die down just a hair but uh still completely doable the grass isn't bad at all i didn't really have to worry about it but hey i want to sincerely thank everybody that subscribed to the channel and have watched my videos it is crazy how far my channel has grown and it's not even been a year since i started youtube i started youtube in september or august and it's already grown so far and i cannot say enough thanks to all y'all who have subscribed and been watching the videos i really appreciate it and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below it allows you to keep up with some great fun entertaining and educational content out here on the alabama gulf coast florida panhandle and practically anywhere i want to go fishing but i'm going to close out the video here i appreciate you watching if you enjoyed and liked this video don't forget to like and share and also go check out my facebook page it's bama saltwater on facebook and then i also have an instagram bama saltwater and that's on instagram too go give those a like and uh, let's keep up with some cool stuff and i'll post some photos and whatever like i said i appreciate you watching I want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later <laughs>